everyone. Welcome back to Tuesday Reviews. I'm Deborah, also known as Doobitch42, and I review all kinds of things. Things, places, makeup, a lot of makeup reviews. Those will pop up up there and then the links at the end. But today is not going to be a, a makeup thing. It's going to be a food thing. Now, last week, I reviewed uh, Chewy's, which is a Tex-Mex place. One location is in Greenville. Link will pop up for that. Um, this week, I want to talk about another Mexican place that's local here uh, in Tacoa, Georgia. El Parion. El Parion, El Parion. Not quite sure the exact pronunciation on the accents there. But, you know, when something's not bad, it's just not that awesome. That's always my experience there. Um, I ordered, I wasn't driving, so I decided to get a margarita because, you know, love some margaritas. And I tasted it. Maybe it's just because I was let down after having the really fresh ones at Chewy's. But this one, you could tell, was just from a bottled margarita mix added with some tequila. I'm not expecting expensive tequila when I order. I'm not just a house, you know, margarita. But the mix, I guess, makes all the difference. It was just very sweet. You could tell it was one they probably just went over to Walmart and bought the mix for. At least that's what it tasted like to me. The chips... Eh, they're not bad. The salsa, though, tasted like tomato sauce, ketchup. I mean, it, it didn't seem to have any cilantro. There was no lime juice in it. It was just mostly very liquidy and a few chunks of tomato. Eh, a little too mild and bland for my taste. Again, my opinions, not, you know, putting it off on anybody else. Um, I had their fajitas. They didn't suck. They were pretty good. The shrimp was a little overdone. I had the Texas fajitas. I know, nothing traditional about what I had, but I do happen to like fajitas most of the time. Um, the shrimp were a little overdone. The chicken was a little dry, but you know, all in all, it wasn't bad. One thing that did disappoint me about the fajitas though, were the tortillas that come with it. Now I know they don't make them fresh there and I don't fault them for that, that most places don't make them fresh and that's okay, but if they come out to you wrapped up in their little foil like they do and they're dry because they've been wrapped up in that foil out on the, the heater too long and just waiting, that's a not so good thing. Now this is not my first trip there. It's not even my second trip there. I've been there a bunch of times, you know, just trying to give them a chance. Sometimes it's better than others. Maybe it's hit or miss depending on who's working. I'm not sure. I have a friend who loves the place and is one of her favorite places to go ever. And I just don't have as good of experience there as she does. My dining companion had something which it's really funky on the menu. I think it's called the Redneck Special or something. But it's actually a cool combination. It's a seafood combination. There's scallops and shrimp and I forget what all else was in it with a cheese sauce and rice. And it actually did look pretty good and it sounded good. I just decided to get fajitas instead. And he was eating it and he was like, eh. He says, the seafood's good, but just don't care for the cheese sauce. May I didn't taste it. I don't think it was off because he didn't get sick or anything, but he said it just didn't have as good a flavor as he'd wanted. Now, maybe he's spoiled from going to Chewy's too. Who knows? Maybe, you know, cheese doesn't belong with seafood, but sometimes we just have to do that. But I want them to be so much better. They're a local place. They're owned by local folks. I just wish they would step it up and bring the quality and bring the freshness because I want to support local businesses. I want to eat at local restaurants that are not a chain. But sometimes when it's just vaguely disappointing, it's hard to do that. Ah, sorry, not a very positive review today. I know most of the time when I review something, it's, you know, super wham and I great because I want to talk about it because I'm so happy. But this time, the vague disappointment and the, huh, don't know if I'll be back, but I probably will, just to give them another shot because I want them to be so much better, comes again. Links down below. Um, I think they have a, a Facebook page and stuff like that so that maybe you can give it a shot and maybe you'll have a different experience. The people are nice, good folks. Just wish they'd step it up a notch. 
Thanks for stopping by Tuesday Reviews today. More reviews on tons of stuff over here. Please subscribe down here, and I'd love it if you'd tap that like before you go.